Well, welcome back, everybody. We love, of course, highlighting nonprofits here on Colorado and Company. And this next one takes the saying man's best friend to a whole nother level. Joining us from Freedom Service Dogs is Albie Astor and Eve Lopez Dennison and Cruz. Our sweet little boy Cruz here, who we saw right before the commercial break. Thank you all so much for being here. Of course, thank you. Of course. All right. Well, Albie, I want to start with you here. First off, thank you so much for your service, everything you've done for our country. We so appreciate that. Uh, but how long has Freedom Service Dogs been around, and what exactly do they do? Yeah, we're we're hitting celebrating 37 years this year. Wow. Um, we uh, we provide fully trained custom service dogs. Um, at no cost, which is the big part, right? Um, so yeah, we offer that, um, and for our veterans in particular, uh, we focus on PTSD, yes. uh, tr traumatic brain injuries, and, and mobility challenges. Incredible, and the work that you guys are doing is making such a huge difference in so many people's lives, so we thank you guys so much for that. Can you walk us through how a service dog uh, like Cruz here can help? Absolutely, so with particularly with the veteran population, uh, some of the popular ones, <coughs> excuse me, some of the popular ones we do have, or the, or the common ones that we do have, um, is creating space in public, yeah. um, you know, just having a little bit of um, a little bit of extra bubble, uh, making your bubble a little bit bigger. Sure. Um, waking from nightmares, which is a really important one, yeah. um, night terrors as well. Um, we also have um, one of the big ones, one of the ones that I'm always really focused on is interruption, uh, and what, what we mean by that is. Um, for PTSD is, is catching the escalation, you know? So as, as folks are getting worked up, the dog's job is really to, to start, um, catch you at the earlier stage so that you don't get to that uh, higher level. Uh, the idea behind that is, is just a reminder to you to check in with yourself. Wow, that is so huge. And again, in these situations, it could mean, you know, just the difference between comfort and just not being able to control. So that is so huge. Now, Eve, I wanna come to you. We, of course, wanna thank you for your service to the Marine Corps, it's so incredible. Now, uh, you are a recipient, of course, of a Freedom Service Dog. We have yeah. Cruz here. Can you tell us a little bit about your story, about your relationship with Cruz as well? Yes, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. Um, I actually had heard about Freedom Service Dogs and had planned to go on this particular day and I had something go wrong and decided, well, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to go home and forget about it. And then I thought, no, I don't want this to wreck my day. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'll just go in, get a couple of brochures and leave. But I ended up speaking with client services for almost two hours. Wow. <laughs> and I had no idea what service dogs actually do for people, what they can do for veterans, us veterans, yeah. and um, I honestly didn't even know I was really in need of one. Yes. And how much um, more and better my life could be with a service dog, especially Cruz. Yes. Oh, he's so wonderful. I want to talk too about the quilts you've brought with you. Yes. Can you tell me about this? Yes. So um, I had been presented one yes. after I graduated my class a year and a half ago, and um, the organization quit providing them for Freedom Service Dogs and it's something I had taken up a few years ago for my church oh. and I surprised LB because he invited me to speak to one of the classes shortly after Cruz and I had graduated class oh my gosh. and I thought well I'll make some quilts real quick for six there were six veterans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had no idea so I was like down to the wire the night before and um, I make them for all the military branches wow. uh, Marine Corps of course is the <laughs> favorite and um, I, pr I get to present them to all the veterans and just seeing their faces is just my way of being able to give back to Freedom Service Dogs, what they've yes. given to me and right. all the veterans and it, it really is just the best thing there. Yeah. They've become my second home, my yes. second family, and I just love to be able to do anything I can for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Well, you guys, thank you all so much for being here. You too, good boy, oh, Cruz. And guys, for more information or to get involved with Freedom Service Dogs, give them a call, 303-922-6231, or find them online. That's freedomservicedogs.org.